Actually, uh, Shiva had many, many talents. So, uh, in terms of why she was so successful, uh, there are many, many aspects which uh, uh, I think we should put spot uh, light on uh, on it and uh, un underline it. Uh, she was uh, she wasn't just an anchor or an, an presenter. Uh, she had many, many uh, talents. Uh, she expressed herself in, um, in many, many aspects in, in mating uh, and building up good debates uh, in front of the cameras. Uh, she was a war uh, correspondent. She was uh, she covered many, many battle uh, zones. And uh, I think uh, we cannot just concentrate uh, Shifa in one word. Actually, we need many, many sentences and many, many papers to uh, express and show up her uh, talents uh, that she had. Shifa had inspired many, many women in Kurdistan uh, because she was just a symbol of uh, a courage women, a symbol of a women with full of talents. Uh, who can just broke the borders in the community and go behind the, the rules and the social rules in, in, the, in the Kurdish community. I think women in Iraq have so many challenges, especially financial uh, crisis and after Daesh invasion. And as a general, after 2003, when women have so much thing to do, but uh, they have challenges in uh, other uh, aspects, socially and uh, economically and financially. This year, in my department, Women's Empowerment Council of Ministry, we want to celebrate women united against corruption, because corruption in Iraq have played a very bad role in hence and the development. We will do a campaign, it will stay for 22 days from, uh, started in 8th of uh, March. Why we choose this uh, address? Because uh, we know corruption uh, played a very bad role uh, in Iraq after 2003, and uh, this distract our economy as a general, and of course it affected women uh, very much. I say to them, you can do it. I did it. There is, when you try, there is nothing impossible, and you should try. Uh, I was without education. I had four children. I was in the village. Later on, I went back to my study, and I fight. Now I am a human rights officer. So uh, you should fight or die. Uh, I was married at 13. Uh, I went, they sent me to a village. Uh, the, even my contractor, my age, it was not allowed to have a marriage certificate. So they make me older, the lawyer, he make me older to be able to make the marriage certificate. I moved to village, from Mosul to village. I stayed there, uh, I had four children, and I, I was a farmer having, uh, like working the daytime the farm and I, I have the cows, chickens. Uh, I was with, with the housework and in the farm I was taking with me the notebooks to study and memorize, sometimes at the night. And usually the village you don't have work at the winter time and it helped me to study. Now my children, yes, when I, when I finished my study, I came to Erbil and I finished college now. I finish, uh, I graduate from uh, master's and uh, I have been working with, uh, I worked with the diplomat people, I worked with the private company, I worked with the NGOs a part-time, I'm working with the 
UNAMI since 2012. My son, he is in the medical school. My both daughter in the uh, civil engineering. My older son, he's uh, in political uh, international relation. They were, uh, I wouldn't pay for them. They were very smart and they went to the good uh, uh, schools. I think women representation in every uh, position is not like what it should be done because I think women in Iraq have more capable and capacity to do uh, a higher position in every aspect, not only in politician and uh, high position in every uh, specialty. I don't uh, know exactly, uh, there are so many reasons, some of them uh, political reason and some of them because uh, we are in a patriotic social uh, society uh, but not because the women is not capable even when we have the quota in parliament and uh, in uh, provinces council of provinces they did it in a wrong way you know uh, why because as if they bring uh, not capable women uh, just because uh, they have to, uh, they have to get women here, no matter uh, whatever uh, the votes for her. So they bring any kind of men just from their party or uh, from uh, their uh, part of something religious or uh, political uh, aspect. So they put women have no uh, relation to what their role in the future in parliament and uh, in the council of provinces. I think the, it's, the change should be in uh, amending uh, domestic law, local law. Uh, this law supports women. Uh, this law should be uh, compiled with the international standard uh, to protect the right of women and gender balance and equality. Second thing, it should uh, we should look to the education curriculum of the uh, schools. And the start point should be from the earlier as possible, so the children will uh, learn a new education, education of accepting anti-discrimination, gender balance. And the second thing, we should work with the community because the tradition and uh, the custom what we have, it is not related to any religion to be a violence against women. Religious leader can change, uh, religious leader and the community can support women and can change the situation to the better one. The right education with relevant skills for the future is fundamental so that more girls can enter and finish schools. More girls must have qualifications in STEM subjects and experience in analytic thinking that leads to higher education and better paying jobs. Currently, only 18% of undergraduate computer science degrees are held by women. To make these changes also means we have to overturn stereotype about what women and girls can do and can do. And it means paying women the same salaries as men for work of equal value. Currently, on average, women earn 23% less than men. Sustainable changes also mean changing stereotypes that confine men outside the home. A change in the world of work must be about creating opportunities for women to be full economic citizens.